So what you're saying is, this house is haunted by a psychotic serial killer or something. And I've been hearing noises, and nobody's home. All my friends are dead. Or I should say all my family's dead. Hi mom, dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including eating Le Petit Dejeuner and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company, since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. That's pretty cool. Everything's fine and I'm not scared. Akechi, playing cards. Let's decorate. Read obituary. Oscar Mason. Mason, I don't know. 60 of Boone Country died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September 8, 1933, in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone Con County. He quickly became a well-loved figure at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside his home. A service will be held this Sunday at the First Methodist Church at 1 p.m. All are welcome. His survivors include his nephew, Terran Greenbrier, as well as, in spirit, the people of Boone County to whom he provided wellness and comfort. Is that... S no, that's not Sam. What's our last name? Greenbrier. So who's this DeSoto person? Oh my god. Why was there a lag? I'm scared. What was that? Did my desk just click in real life? I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Alright. Is pieces of paper anything else? Okay, close door. Is that a weather alert? An amber alert? Oh my god, where's the light? There we go. Man, this is atmospheric. I'm really enjoying this. Again, thank you so much, Seth. This is amazing. This is the type of game that I love to play. So much story. So much atmosphere. Exam form. Examine form. Crestwell Insurance Agency, Inc. Electrical Inspection Form. The wiring in the house is technically up to all safety and amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added into structure over the last 100 years. System is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason, pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuits wired directly behind the surface. Properly reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and fixtures of the structure. After discussion with Mr. Greenbrier, since there are no current safety concerns, these issues will not be addressed. Harold Price Jr., Black Cat Electrical Company. 9294. Alright, so I guess in a way that sort of explains the problems that we've got with the lights, but I still think they're haunted. Oh my god, why is it giving off that sound? Stop. I swear to god, I just heard jingling keys. Everything is fine. Nothing to worry about. Nobody is here. Inside of my house. Oh my god, that's the rain, okay. Everything is fine. Nothing to worry about. Nobody is here. Inside of my house. Alright, let's go ahead and finish checking- Oh my god! I thought that was gonna make me run instead of zoomed in like crazy. Oh god. See, the lights flickering makes sense with that, uh, what's it called? The wiring and stuff. But not creaking stuff, distilled in Ireland. Han Rahan. Number 9, Irish Whiskey. 40% volume, triple distilled, 70s, okay. Uh, uh, 
Benjamin Almond. The killing of JFK, a theory. You've seen the movie, discover the truth. A superb work of speculation plotted with amazing skill and showing a level of magnetic artistry all not usually present in Oh my god, that was not the way that I wanna have this game going. Okay. Uh you can do better. Chinese, Japanese, Lebanese, early spaceflight utopia, advanced technology, tech technology. End World War II early time stream to different. What if JFK wasn't JFK? But JFK President US plus USSR coalition? Paradox results in JFK death being desired outcome? Record JFK off HBO Magic Bullet Theory? Lone Gunman? X Files? Check with Sam. You can do better. Back to basics. Set, sent back in time to Dallas 1963 again? State of emergency in Dallas cancels motorcade. Intercept LHO in USSR? LHO killed in Marines? Grassy Knoll steamrolled? JFK poisoned? Kidnapped? Injured? Why not disrupt motorcade minutes before LHO can fire? Oh. So it seems like someone here was, uh. What's it called? Paranoid. I forget the exact name. What's this? Oh, it's a false bottom. Okay, let's check this group. Oh, wait, no, there's nothing here. There is paper in it, but we can't open it, so that's fine. Trashing the house. Bow, 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 trashing the house. Bow, bow, trashing the house. August 10th, 1972, from 1 Arbor Hill, Boone County, 971. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. To Terrence Greenbrier, 1888, Dry Creek Road, Forest Grove, 97116. August 10th, 1972. Hello, Terrence. I wrought on what I hope and imagine must be a joyous occasion. Uh, news reaches me that you are newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have had more than a little time during my long days and nights at the house on Arbor Hill to consider my past to my family, and my thoughts have often lingered on your development and welfare in the ten years uh, since we last met. Your marriage gives me much reassurance in this regard. I wish you and your new bride many happy years together. You are always welcome on Arbor Hill, though I will understand, of course, if you feel you cannot accept this invitation. Yours very sincerely, Oscar Mason. Uh, let me check something real quick. Was Terrence my f my father? That's not how I run. I don't know how to run, even though I got a trophy and track and stuff. Terry. Okay. So yes, my father is Terrence. So Mason contacted my father. They were in contact with each other. Let's examine this paper. Pioneer, seal, decombination, laser disc, compass, display, $1,000. Remote with backlight, double sided play, headphone out, display on, off, jog, shuttle, file, or dial, uh, slow motion, freeze frame, last frame memory, video outs, optical outs, twin, blah, 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 blah. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LD, CD, Claire, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular- It is getting closer. That sound was getting closer. Oh god. Okay, I thought that was a flashlight, but it's just the TV. Okay, let's continue with these drawers. Nothing. What the hell was that? Don't worry that. Close door. Open. Open. No, there's something there to read, isn't there? No, there isn't. Alright, uh, looks like I've got everything done there. I think I'm finished with everything in this room. Let's check this filing cabinet. Cabinet, actually. Tripping over my words. I don't have a combination. Or do I? No, I don't. Read combo pages. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars, twinkling as if he were laying on the grass in his fa- Oh my god. In his family yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. No, he blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon-reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. John Russell's head swam. He felt incredibly drunk, despite not having touched a drop in hours. 
He vomited onto his feet, his bare feet. He stood for a moment, processing his sick flecked toenails, scanning his bare shins, bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic. The fabric that strained at the seams to contain her generous bosom was emblazoned with the phrase, Matter Transference Operator. Then he passed out. John Russell had crossed the gap, the gap in time. Only messages had passed before. But now... Um... But now, um, man... They needed him, now more than ever. Changing the past was no longer good enough. The instructions from the council had been clear. What to procure, what to construct from it, how to assemble it. So he made the machine, how to transport him bodily across time. And now he stood there on the bridge of the starship Archimedes, command of the vessel, because only he, who had saved the president's life twice before, could helm the Neve crew to their destination, the fate of the galaxy. I do not like how loud that is. Whoever was uh, writing those crumpled pages must have been, like, really nervous or something. They made a lot of errors. Maybe they were crazed while they were writing it. Filling in, Binden. I'm just waiting to, like, look through a doorway and see a person that just, like, suddenly runs off, or a shadow of a person moving. Jesus. The Accidental Pariah. Terence L. Greenbio. That's my father's book. And there are his magazines that he doesn't want anyone to find. Gentlemen, the magazine for men, February 1989. Japan's bloody war on dolphins. Moscow by night, drugs, prostitution, the mafia. The new rules of love. Ladies in the ring, the women of wrestling. Okay. Gosh, dad. Fresh, true stories. I was a teenage drag queen. Readers, tell us about their worst moments. 90210, does anybody still care? The male gaze, how to subvert it. Sarah Holst, not gathering moss. You wanna know how to subvert, sub, whatever. Subvert the male gaze? Don't dress as though you want to be, have no self-respect. The accidental patriarch villain, Ambassador Messiah. The occasional sa sometime unreliable savior hero. A year on the mountain, come down from the mountain. The accidental prophet? The Unreliable Prophecy, The Accidental Prophet. I wonder if these are attempted names for a book, maybe. I don't know. Uh, oh, hey, look, I can just turn this on. Anything? It doesn't look like there's a room by Wait, is that a plant behind there? Oh my god, that's weird. Okay, don't worry about it. It's probably just a glitch. Yeah, I think it's a glitch. Okay. I wasn't sure if maybe there's like a book on one of these shelves I need to pull and open the shelf, like secret door. But I doubt it. 0451! I bet that's to that one thing back there. The file cabinet. Dear Terence, David asked me to write you regarding the view reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it. Not mine to cut back to it. Even though it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tar tangents and non sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites, the readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Brent Kurtwood, 
Reviews Editor, Home Theater Aficionado Magazine. 0451. A Stranger Under My Roof, Understanding Teens. The number one best selling advice book for parents of teens. Dr. Elisa Medina. Uh, the teen years are fraught with change of all types physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. But these changes don't just affect your teen. The teen's turbulent years are a challenge for parents as well. May they be the biggest challenge you've yet faced since having children. Blah, 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 blah. We don't need to see any more of this because it has nothing to do with the game, I don't think. I thought it stuck for a second. That would have been interesting. But yeah, 0451. Zero four five one. Zero four five one.